Welcome to Divine Vintage and Antiques. Thank you so much for joining me today as we talk about all things vintage and antique. I have a huge collection of jewelry, purses and dresser items, porcelain, glass, textiles, and kitchen collectibles. And I want to share with you some of the items I have found. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. Today, I'm gonna to share with you part two of my purse collection. And as you can see from the video, we're gonna be focusing on structured purses, larger purses, purses that we can specifically put our cell phones in because that's really important. We need the cell phone, the wallet, keys, makeup, and anything else you might need in the purse. So these are larger purses that are usable, but vintage. This bag is a black suede bag. It is structured. And I believe this bag may date to the 1940s, but I've been having trouble trying to specifically figure out the time frame on this purse. I suppose it could have been used by a woman in the 50s. Um, anyway, it's got a really nice gold uh, clasp on the top. And when you lift up the clasp and open it up, um, the bag is marked Bags by Dorian. Um, and inside, attached to the bag by this chain is a little change purse. Um, you would have also had in here a comb and a mirror that would have come with this purse. Now the condition of this purse on the outside is pretty good. Um, the suede is in good condition. Um, the inside seems like there is some moisture in the storage of it. Um, the the um, zipper and the metal parts of this change purse are kind of cruddy. I do need to clean it up and um, uh, and then I'm going to apply some vinegar because there is some verdigris showing up on the metal pieces. Um, so anyway, I wonder like why do they attach um, the, the wallet to the purse with a chain? Um, is it because uh, it was easy to leave your change purse after you purchased something and you forgot it and left it at the store and the handbag maker wanted to prevent that from happening? Um, or is it uh, just to make sure that this change purse stays with the, um, with the purse it was designed with? I really don't know. Anyway, let me know what your comments are, uh, what you think. But this is a really fun purse. It definitely fits the cell phone, wallet, and keys. And uh, it's very uh, sleek and snazzy in its design, I think. Um, and uh, it's really easy to carry. I got this purse recently at the Antique Mall. I really love it. It's um, got a linen fabric and it is um, needlepoint flower decoration on the front. There's nothing on the bottom and it's plain on the back, but I just love the shape of it. And it's certainly large enough for your cell phone and everything else you need. Anyway, it's got a lift lock clasp on it and the inside is super clean, beautiful ivory satin. It's got two pockets. It does say the brand says pretty. Now I'm not sure what that is. I haven't been able to find anything on that. Um, but I wore the, I used this bag the other night when I went out to dinner and um, it's really fun. It's a nice summer spring purse and um, uh, in really good condition. So I'm very excited about this one. So I got this purse about 10 years ago at a fantastic little vintage shop in Frederick, Maryland called Venus on the Half Shell. And it's a black, um, I think it's peau de soie. It's like a silk satin finish on the purse with the gold trim. Um, it's a larger purse. And I think you could probably use this for maybe going out to lunch um, or going for an evening out. Um, it's a very elegant purse, but I think it can be used uh, throughout, the, throughout the day. Um, the neat thing about this purse when I opened it up to purchase it is it has five pockets in it and it's also by Waldman. Now I wasn't able to find a whole lot of information about the Waldman company but maybe you know a little more about it and um, inside this purse when I purchased it was a, uh, 
a comb, which is super cool. Um, I was not that familiar with the fact that purses came uh, accessorized. And uh, also was a little matching change purse. And a mirror. So that was kind of fun. But what was really special is that the owner of the shop at Venus on the Half Shell had put a lucky penny in the purse for me. So I thought that was really sweet. Um, anyway, yeah, it has five pockets. It even has a pocket uh, on the other side right there. And it is in excellent condition, really, really nice condition. So um, this is a fun purse. I enjoy wearing this one. Um, and black goes with everything. You could wear it with jeans or you could wear it with a fancy, um, fancy dress to go out. Um, this purse is a red patent leather purse with a gold trim. And on the back side, it has a strap. And this is called a back strap purse. So you could use it to uh, carry on your hand. Or when you take your gloves off for lunch or dinner, you could place your gloves inside the strap and uh, they wouldn't get lost. So that's another um, handy little uh, part to the purse. Now I got this purse at an um, uh, antique mall with my dear friend. Um, and he, my friend um, found this purse and I was like, oh, I love that purse, it's so great. And he said, well, you can have it. And so I am really grateful to my friend for um, letting me purchase the purse and own it because I wear it all the time, I use it a lot. I like red a lot. So it doesn't have a name on it. Um, it has one little pocket inside, and uh, but it's fairly deep purse. You can really get your um, cell phone in there, your wallet, um, keys. And a lot of times when I use these vintage purses, I do carry a smaller wallet, not my usual everyday wallet. Um, I'll do use something a little smaller, a little slimmer. Um, but anyway, this is really fun. I love the structure. I love the design um, on the gold at the top. I love the shape of it. Uh, it just really has such a great vintage vibe. This purse I purchased at my local antique mall. Um, it's got a, a black patent leather on it as well as a, a flat kind of leather. Um, it's actually not leather. It is um, ni um, nylon, plastic. Um, and it has some really cool little uh, brass feet on the bottom, which I really like in the design. And then the back side is all um, the patent leather, uh, black, shiny patent leather. Um, it's got a really fun uh, gold decoration at the top, which is the clasp. You push on that and it opens up. And then the inside is this brilliant bright red. It's really fun. It is plastic on the inside. It's not fabric. It has one big pocket, and then inside this pocket has a bunch of numbers, and I really don't know what those numbers mean. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. Um, there you go. You can see some of those numbers there. Uh, there's no maker's mark, just those numbers, so I don't know. Maybe they're patent numbers, um, but it's, uh, it's really nice and big, and um, you can wipe it clean if you spill some uh, lipstick or makeup in there, and... Um, Anyway, you could use this day or night, I think. I think it's an all-around, um, everyday kind of purse. I don't think there's any reason why you can't use um, patent leather during the day, but I just love those brass feet on the bottom. So this purse is a really lovely fabric purse. Um, it's nice and big. It's called an envelope purse because, well, it's like an envelope. Anyway, it is marked on the inside, Melton. M-E-L-T-O-N. I'm not sure I can get it on the screen for you because it is really faded, faded out. Um, but it does say uh, uh, imported fabric Melton. Um, so anyway, it's just a nice purse because it's really big. It's got one pocket. Um, it's in good shape. So an envelope purse you, you know, hold in your hand or you, or you carry uh, under your arm. Um, but the fabric is on both sides. It's really pretty. It's got some pinks and blues and greens. Um, so yeah, you could probably wear this with a lot of things, both dress it up and dress it down. Um, and I love the birds on it. So it's a fun purse, it's different. So speaking of different, 
Um, this purse, I think, probably dates to the 50s, maybe even the 60s. It's plastic. It's vinyl, clear vinyl, covering uh, like a pink silk with gold threading. Uh, it's got a gold frame, and it's a clutch purse. You would just hold on to it. Uh, there's no maker's mark on it. It's got a beautiful pink uh, satin lining. No pocket. Um, so, yeah, anyway, it's just very unusual. Um, it's nice having the plastic vinyl because it keeps the fabric in good shape. Uh, you can just wipe it down. And I think that might have been a um, feature in their sales uh, is that it's easy to keep clean. So, anyway, it's kind of unusual. I really like the... Uh, the pink fabric and the gold on it um, feels a little unusual holding a plastic purse but you know you get used to it anyway I think it's really fun and uh, you could use it night or day so this purse I got recently at the antique mall it's made up of little beads and they call them caviar beads um, they first came out in 1951 I'm not sure when this purse was made uh, if it was 1951 uh, or later. I kind of get the 1960s vibe from this purse, but I don't know. You tell me. Um, when you open up this purse, which is gigantic, uh, it's a very large purse. It's got plenty of space for everything you could possibly want to bring with you. Um, it's got a really nice um, uh, uh, satin lining. Um, has a little pocket. And inside, it does say, it's very hard to read because it's a little faded, but it does say Cordex bead. Um, and so maybe the Cordex is a brand of the caviar style beads company. I really don't know, but I guess the beads themselves were called caviar style. Um, and then that company made this purse. So I love the frame on it. I love that the beads are on the frame and then on the uh, kiss clasp. Um, it's got a really nice sturdy handle so you can carry it with you and uh, put everything you want in there. Um, and it's got a nice little design on the front and, um, and on the back. So that's kind of fun purse. It's different and it's a great purse for summertime, springtime. Here's another, uh, here's another caviar bead purse. It's got a uh, pattern of some flowers, pink uh, flowers. There's some green leaves in there. Um, I see a lot of purses with this pattern on it. Um, so I don't know if it was a very popular pattern um, or just a lot of them have survived. Um, this is a really cool purse because not only is it big and you can open it up and you can put everything you want in there, but it is reversible. So if you didn't want a flower purse, you just turn it inside out. And what's cool is the clasp works inside out as well. And you can just have a plain white purse. So that's kind of cool. I have seen um, a purse that was black on the inside and white on the outside, and it was reversible as well. So yeah, so this is a fun purse. You can use it um, for anything at any time. You could go out with it, you could go to concert with it. Um, you could um, uh, go to lunch, um, just go every day to the grocery store if you need to. Um, anyway, it's got like a plastic um, line over the metal. There's like this plastic over the metal on the frame. It's very sturdy. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's a fun purse. So the last purse I'm going to share with you today is a um, evening purse, um, or maybe you could use it to go to a fancy lunch. It is a gold frame and it has a little bit of a black um, line on it um, made with fabric. And this again is like a black peau de soie or a very smooth satin. It has a really fun chain on it. You can double up the chain um, to carry the purse by hand. Or you can extend the chain and then you can carry the long chain over your shoulder. Now when you open up this purse, it has a little lift lock. Let's see, this side, this side, lift lock. And it's, it's just plain black on the inside. It has one little pocket. It's in very good shape. 
and it does have a maker's mark on it, HLUSA. Now I have seen other purses with this mark, um, but I'm not familiar with who the manufacturer is. If you know, leave a comment. So I love this purse because it's um, it's a nice big evening purse. You can carry it on your shoulder. Maybe you're going for cocktails and you need your hands free to eat your hors d'oeuvres and hold your drink. And that way you can put your, your purse over your shoulder. Um, the decor is just on the front, on that front gold section right here. And the back is just plain gold. That's a nice elegant purse. I like the, um, the gathers at the top there and here. It just dresses it up a little bit. I can't even remember where I got this purse, but um, anyway, it's a lot of fun. Haven't worn it out yet, but as soon as um, we're able to go to the theater or go out to dinner more often, I'll be using this purse. Well, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Please leave a comment about an item you liked, or if you have additional information you can share with me about your knowledge of vintage or antique items. So this was part two of my purse series, and I'm going to have a part three and possibly even a part four. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.